I was watching some video of some some guy taking apart a PC, and and the point was he was putting the system back together, and he used a a power screwdriver to put the screws into the back of the case, and I just I it just made me cringe because. And the guy lost all credibility with me, frankly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Because he was using a power screwdriver? Yes. To put the screw in. You can use a power screwdriver to pull the screw out. That's okay. fine. Okay. Um, the point is, and this is something that my grandfather taught me when I was like five. And I've never forgotten it. And it's just a little piece of wisdom that is so cool. And that is anytime you are screwing something in first yeah back it out put a little pressure on oh, the screw because you could strip it so easily yes yeah i've done put that little, so many times put a little pressure put a little pressure on the screw and turn counterclockwise you will feel it go click yeah and as so it that falls click, into the thread yes yeah. Yes, and so that, I mean, wood screws, metal screws, doesn't matter. Just back it out, and it'll click. Then you can then go forward, and if you have to use a, a power screwdriver, fine, but you get, but get it started. <laughs> but you're worried, what you're saying is it's so easy to strip a thread with a power screwdriver because you don't feel it, and if you're not in the thread, it'll just make a new thread. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's it's a just, very good point. It's very easy just, to do. Yeah. Well, and if you've got a power screwdriver, it's got all this torque there. Right. You don't it's even just know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and before you know it, you've got you've created a round hole. With I did no that thread. the other day. I use you know the I was opening a MacBook Air and they have this pentalobe screw. I'm not using a power screwdriver either way. Pentalobe oh, screwdriver and the world's tiniest little screws. <laughs> and you know it's very easy to miss the thread. Even if you do back it out, it's very hard. And once you get it screwed up, it's never going to go in right. No, that's exactly right. So, you know, if it's, it may be something that everyone goes, yeah, yeah, Gibson, we know about that. But if it's not something you've ever heard before, next time you are, you are encounter a screw, just think about it. You know, just, just, you know, go So the you other never direction. use power uh, tools to screw in, only no. to screw out. Yeah. That's I, actually I, a very I, good point. I never really thought of that. I have well, used, you know, and, power screwdrivers because I'm lazy. Also, Leo, um, you, you can't. You have also no feedback on tightness. Right. You know, I mean, anyone who's a craftsman, you, you'll you'll tighten it down, and then you'll you'll give it just. I mean, just as enough. Like like w w when you're mounting hard drives, you know, you you want them to be like firm, but not. A, you don't want to like torque the whole hard drive frame because you've just you know bear down on the screw so much. So it's like no, just you know, enjoy the process. Of putting the screw back in. <laughs> enjoy the pride. Enjoy well, what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. You know, take some pride in having your threads yeah. well meshed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I know. It's funny. I I never thought about that, but I do know what you're the cross thread. I know what you're talking about. It happens to me all the time. Yeah. And if you just, it, it's very satisfying. Right. When you just go backwards, it kind of goes click. And you just, oh, it's like, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> then we just go smoothly <laughs> forward. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle or, Steve's, or you could do what Uncle I do and use nails, the... right? That's oh. <laughs> that's what Web yeah. Web thirty nine ninety one said. Get some glue. Oh, glue. well, the screw's gone. Get some glue. Nothing yeah. like crazy glue.